Hey, what is up, guys? It is Create Designs here, and as promised, today I will make you guys a tutorial on how to create a splash page using Dreamweaver. It's uh, 3:21 a.m. in the morning. I just got done playing some uh, Battlefield with my friends on some PC, so I decided to make this tutorial real quick before I go to bed. Now, um, what a splash page is is basically a uh, redirect of like you can have it before you enter your site. So like my site is creativedesigns.net. So if you type in creativedesigns.net, it would have a splash page. It could either be a welcome, so like it could be like welcome to creativedesigns.net, and then click here to enter, like that type of thing. Or it can be like under construction, please visit us later, please you know YouTube, etc. Like I had. So first off, what you want to do is you want to go into Photoshop and design uh, your splash page. Um, you want to make sure it's a solid background. Size does not matter. You know, usually 1280 by 720, 1024 by 768, 1920 by 1080 doesn't really matter. Just uh, make sure it has one solid color background. If you have a pattern or like a or like a gradient or something, just make sure it fades out to one color, because you don't want it to like for people who have like low resolution screens or high resolution screens, you don't want it to fade out like immediately or randomly to a different color like from here to you know from uh, this dark gray to this uh, lighter gray it's not going to look very nice so yeah so you have your youtube twitter google plus facebook etc so you want to make sure you save it as a uh, for web and devices either jpeg png whatever you'd like so once you save it um, you want to open up dreamweaver and open up and create a new html file um, you can either go split or design, doesn't really matter. Um, split just so then you can see the code and the design. Code is you can only see the code. Design is you can only see the design, doesn't really matter. But yeah. So now you're going to want to insert your image. I already saved mine, so I'm just going to go to insert image and I'm going to scroll down to my splash page. Now I'm going to have to uh, relevate to site root. Click OK. Then you're gonna want to delete this part right here, and then click OK. So right here, I'll just type in www.creativedesigns.net. You don't really have to, but I'm just doing it just for the tutorial's sake. And you're going to want to save it. So I'm just gonna replace my previous one. So overwrite it, and then it should show up. So um. Once you save it, you're gonna want to click like in this whitish area right here, like right below, right before the white and the image itself. So you get this blinking cursor. You can't really see it. You might be able to see it, but yeah. And once you have that, you're gonna want to uh, align it to center. And make sure it's on CSS, not HTML, because then you won't see it. So you go to CSS and then align to center. And I'm just gonna call this splash. And once it's in the center, you hit page properties and you will make sure it's on appearance CSS background color you key it out you key the background color whatever color you have you click OK and now it's gonna fade out to the same color so no matter what the resolution is of whoever's computer is using looking at your website it's gonna all look the same and it's gonna be infinity uh, you know like infinite this color is gonna be infinite alright so now once you have that you click your image your box area once you click it, you want to click on this rectangular. You can use a circle or just the polygon. I'll just use a rectangular. So you highlight each box individually, click yes. And then in the link right here in the box where it says link, you're just going to want to type in your link. So http.youtube.com forward slash create designs. Okay, then you do the same for this one. Click enter. dot com okay underscore designs etc you do this throughout all of yours so now once you have that um that's pretty much it you just want to save it so again since I already saved it you can just hit control s and it'll save or you can just go to control I mean uh, file save file save as same thing now once you have it saved um well Alright, so now once you have it saved, you're going to have this index file and your original splash file. 
So you're going to want to open up your FTP, ser FTP server or FileZilla, whichever you, you might be using FileZilla. You click continue, log into your FTP. And I use WordPress, so uh, yeah, so I'm going to open up to my folder, createdesigns.net right here. And you just want to drag your index and your splash page, like so. Just drag it in there. Once it says this thing is successful, you can now go to your browser. So this is how it looks like before. And now when you refresh it, it's going to show the splash page. So you click YouTube, and it will redirect you to my YouTube. Um, yeah, it's pretty much how you do that. Really simple. Uh, it's not hard at all to do. Twitter, and I'll redirect it to my Twitter, but my internet is really slow, so it's not going to work right now. But, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions or if you guys run into any problems, make sure to just let me know. And if you, sim if you simply want to get rid of it, you can just delete the index, just uh, delete, and the splash page. You can delete it or you can manually delete it from your media folder. Uh, from your WordPress dashboard, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you guys would like any more tutorials or a request or anything, just let me know, and uh, I'll make sure to see what I can do to uh, make that tutorial for you guys. That's pretty much it. So I need to go to bed already. So talk to you guys later. Peace.